Natasha? Mrs. Wilde, have you seen her this morning? I'm afraid I haven't, sir. Is there a problem? I don't know. Pick up the damn phone. Morning. Have a nice day. No, 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 we don't clean the window until the very last minute. What's that green meaning, yeah? Oh, tough. We're out of bounds to our competitors until we open. We're a commercially sensitive organisation. Oh! I feel all right, Charlie, in this. Yeah, so do I. I think you look very professional. <laughs> right, well, I'll just instruct you both on how to use the till properly and then Doug can begin your induction. Oh, we're not open yet, love. Although, uh... Maybe, uh, maybe we could make an exception. I was hoping to catch Natasha here. Well, you might as well book into the B&B. &B. Our husband's taken her away for a short break. Oh, she must have meant that I was to meet her at their hotel. Um, can you just remind me where they've gone? I've left my diary at home. Uh, as you know, I'm her personal executive assistant. So I'll take a message if you like. No need, thanks. Some people. Now, where were we? Do you mind if I join you? Could I have some coffee, please? Oh, don't mind me. Would you like some privacy? I know you. I don't think so. Safe for me to sit down, isn't it? Why wouldn't it be? Well, only years ago, around these parts, they had every stunning redhead down as a witch. Trust me, if I was, I wouldn't be sitting here. I was just leaving anyway. Never forget a face like yours. Well, don't tell me. You're in a magazine. There's no need to rush off. How about another one of these, eh? I'm finished here, thanks. I thought you'd gone home. Almost did. Most you're still here. <laughs> Ignoring her summons, she won't be happy, will she? I can't stop her calling me. Yeah, but you could change your number. Oh, no, that's far too easy, isn't it? Do I look as if I'm enjoying this? You went crawling off to see her yesterday behind my back. What am I supposed to think? I would never have gone if she hadn't lied to me. About the son you swear means nothing to you. Great. And now she thinks she can call you any time, night or day. What if she calls the house? What if William picks up the phone? Well? I have no idea. And I have no idea how the hell I'm going to put a stop to it. I am utterly and completely stuck. I don't want to lose you. But I can't see a way out. So do what you have to do. Divorce me. I'll go if you want. I love you, but I can't live like this anymore. If there's no love, then we have nothing. Well, that'd be very convenient for you. Walk away and start again. Maybe even pick up wife number three on the way. <laughs> it's killing me. And I know that deep down inside it's killing you too, but you have to make a decision. We both have to. So, in order to hang on to my, uh, 
marriage, my children and my life, I have to fight this woman for a worthless liar who conned me into marrying him. Talk about Hobson's choice. That is, of course, if you think I am worth fighting for. You're not worth the dust on my shoes. Have you enjoyed your stay, sir? Memorable. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so good at this, it's heartbreaking. Good at what? This, Mr. and Mrs. Smug married. Meanwhile, we sleep in separate beds, and you take phone calls from your other wife. So, we go home and carry on lying to our kids? No. No, we tell the children we're getting a divorce, but not why. Unless you want to tell them they're illegitimate in the eyes of the law. Once we tell them, there's no going back. I know. I never wanted things to come to this. And for what it's worth, I've never loved anyone the way I love you. Just get in the car. Nathan? Maisie? Natasha. Maybe they're in the office. You do realize that once we've opened this box, once we've told the children that our marriage is finished, that's it. Game over. Is that what you want? I didn't want any of this. Look, it's the last pair left in my size. They're a must-have, and my credit card's up to its limit. No. Dad's never going to notice. Yeah, until he checks his credit card statement, which says stupid platform shoes for 300 quid. <laughs> Mum, hey. how was the hotel? Lovely, thank you. Will around? It's up in his room, why? Just as well. You see, your mother and I... There's something you should know. Like what? Dad, you're creeping me out. Just that we had the most fabulous evening. The food was marvellous, the room spectacular, and we both are very grateful. Thank you. Aren't we, Mark? Very. See? I knew they'd enjoy themselves. <laughs> and your presents are on the kitchen table. <laughs> yeah, I told you Mum would get us something. <laughs> Bags like the biggest one. <laughs> How old are you two? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Now shut up and listen. This is how life is going to be from now on. Right. We divorce, split up, we give her what she wants. And I'll be damned if I'll give her that satisfaction. Thank you. I didn't deserve a second chance. Well, there are conditions. I'll do anything. Prove it. Tomorrow we pay her a visit. We show her that we act as one, that we are absolutely non-negotiable. And if she won't listen to reason, then we do what we have to. And we don't stop until she's out of our lives for good. Do you understand? <laughs>